I started right out of school as a field engineer uh, on a office building project, building 16 story office building in downtown Washington, DC. Uh, funny, the first day I started, I show up in my uh, steel toe boots and hard hat and goggles and showed up in the field trailer. Um, I look around and I think to myself, huh, so I guess here I am. <laughs> Here's what my uh, project manager uh, at a time, she said, welcome. Here's what I want you to do on day one. Here's a set of blueprints. Here's a highlighter. What I want you to do is I want you to walk the floor and take the highlighter, walk as many times as possible. I want you to draw or highlight project progress, what they have installed or what's been installed in certain floors. I said, okay. <laughs> so that's how I started. I uh, worked on that project as field engineer, uh, worked with over 50 subcontractors, vendors. Um, the company I worked for was a prime co contract. So learned a great deal of uh, really communication skill. Uh, been there, sitting in the project meeting, keeping quiet, observative of everybody's conversation, learn as much as I can, uh, thoroughly enjoying that experience. Now I look back, it's, uh, it's one of the best experiences I've had. So one question for you that I have sometimes is, you know, the people in the field, we talked about people in the field for the field engineer, the construction site. So is most of your time spent in the trailer or it's spent, you know, at the actual construction or, or what, what, what typically happens there? Oh, I spend most of the time outside <laughs> in the field. Uh, so, well, uh, the task I was given at the time, mostly I focus on uh, subcontractor communication. Hey, what's the progress? What's the typical? What has it been done? Highlighting the blueprints. <laughs> and I learned tremendous information and knowledge and, and just, you know, dealing with people. Um, and there's, uh, there's a, a quote that I love uh, from, Dale Carnegie, who said, uh, when dealing with people, remember you're not dealing with creature of logic, but creatures of emotion. Um, through all these different vendors, you hear issues, you hear challenges, you hear, you know, you, you, you develop solutions together, you motivate each other, and uh, just, uh, you know, that part of it. And it also, uh, before the elevators was installed, um, guess what? I, we were so active, like literally, climb the stairs up and down 16, 17 stories, I don't know, at least 20, 25 times a day. At the end of the day, you know, I, when the job was done, I realized I was, I was, I was fit, <laughs> I was healthy, I was running up the stairs to the, to the roof and no problem. So 